Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some paints, grab some models, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. Yes, shout out to Cody Roo. Adam, you missed his butt. Also, congratulations, Cody Roo. Huge congratulations. Yes. So, I'm going to be continuing to work on my Space Marines. And no, I'm not using the new Contracts paints because I'll talk about that in the video. But that's okay. So I'm working on a Space Marine Lieutenant today. And if I have more time, I'll work on another lieutenant, a captain, or something. We'll we'll figure that out after. Um, right now, I'm just putting. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be working, probably finishing up a lieutenant, and keep going, discussing my life and videos and all that awesome jazz. Yes. So let's get started. Once again, Adam, you missed a spot, right there. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone. So today I'll be working on this Primaris lieutenant. As you can see, he's been started. Uh, I've gotten pretty far. The yellows are done. Uh, I've shaded the reds, the browns, and the silvers. So today I'm just going to keep working on I'm going to start off by working on the reds, finishing them up, and then working on probably the browns, uh, silvers, going from there. You know, just methodically through my miniatures. So I'll be starting off with taking some uh, Evil Sun Scarlet and highlighting up the uh, shoulder pads and all the red areas on the model, which is cool. And as I mentioned, there is no contrast paints in my workshop at the moment. Not yet. Uh, the reason is, people have been asking me if I am I going to use them. What do I think about them? What do I think about them? Haven't tried them yet, unfortunately. Haven't tried them yet. I'm excited to try them out. I will try them out. And you know what? I might paint an entire army using them. We'll see. But I want my armies to be um, consistent, right? And that is why I wouldn't paint, you know, the rest of my Primaris Marines with these new contrast paints because then my army wouldn't look consistent. It would be a very different um, appearance, right? It would not be the same look as my current ones. So I said, no, I'm not going to use them on these guys. I'm going to try them out on a, probably a vanilla Marine just to show you know, the colors, but, um, yeah, as I'm saying, it's not going to be, I want to you. I want to have a consistent looking army. So if I use them on, or maybe at least a consistent appearance. So if I use them on one squad of guys, I want to use them on all that squads of guys, right? Which is okay. I said nothing wrong. So far, people tend to have really positive reviews about them. Of course, there's like a thousand videos right now on YouTube about it. Seems to be a very popular topic. And uh, being someone who used to focus a lot on painting, yeah, I wish I could be joining them, making some videos. Uh, the reason why I don't have any contrast paints is pretty simple. So, um, you know, most people have the two options. Order from your local store or order from Games Workshop or a combination. Right? What if your local store is a games workshop or, you know what I'm saying? Um, so for me, I figured the easiest way is to order from my local store. So I went into the pre-order um, and ordered a bunch, like, uh, I don't know, a dozen, 14 paints. And I was like, cool. And then uh, I didn't, of course, the games workshop website had been selling out, you know what I mean? It has been like selling out, restoring, selling out, restoring, selling out, uh, restocking. And uh, so I was like, okay, cool. I'll just, you know, order from my local store here in Peterborough. And then on the Thursday um, before the launch, so last Thursday, I get a call saying, we're sorry, we're not getting the contrast paints. Uh, we forgot to order them on time or something like that. And I was like, what? A little, I was a little annoyed wasn't terribly, like, I wasn't angry beyond, you know, anything, but, um, it was a little annoying. So, my local gaming store isn't getting the contrast paints for a while, probably another two, couple weeks. Then I'm like, okay, well, the GW website is currently sold out of them, of the ones I want, like, all the, the more popular colors sold out very quickly. So, I waited till Saturday. And on Saturday, of course, they restocked the day of launch on the website. And I uh, 
went and I ordered a bunch and they just haven't arrived yet. So I should get them probably today, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, hoping by the end of the week. And uh, then I'll, I'll do a couple videos on them. Hopefully people uh, watch because at this point a lot of people already made a lot of videos on the contrast paints. But uh, for me, being a review, like someone who reviews a lot, I do like watching a bunch of reviews because then it's not just one person's opinion or you know one person's take on a product or a book or something. You know, uh, it's everyone's. You get a more well-rounded appearance or um, idea of it. So I'm hoping my viewers are like me. But uh, yeah, as I said. I'm, I'm happy with these paints. I'm, I'm painting along. I'm slowly ridding my world of unpainted models. And uh, life is good that way. You know, life is very good. I'm uh, really enjoying um, working on these Primaris Marines. I thought I'd be already like burned out painting all these Primaris Marines by now, but I'm actually really enjoying them, which is cool. I'm, uh, I like the yellow scheme that I'm going with. And so, I should also, it's not really a really big announcement or anything, but uh, I want to let you, my, my fellow painters know, who are painting along with me right now, that I'm, I'm going to bring back Miniature Painting 101. I'm wanting to do it for a while, and so I basically filmed, um, I've, I filmed and edited next week's episode, and what I'm doing now is every Miniature Painting 101 goes up in my Patreon page, just a week at a time, to thank the patrons for their constant support. So they get to see my battle reports and my miniature painting 101s before um, before everyone else, and that's cool. So the first one's already up, and I have the next three after that filmed and planned. Um, by uh, sorry, they're almost entirely filmed actually. They're um, yeah, just needs to be a little bit edited. So cool. So I have four in a row, and then I'm going to start taking ideas. I'm guessing people want to see just contrast paint stuff with the contrast paint, so it's a perfect time um, for me to. You know, um, keep going with the series, so it's good timing. So I'm just going to paint the purity seal right here while the wa there's still a wash drying a little bit in the recesses for the brown. I'll paint that up, and then uh, so I'm going to take some Ushabti Bone, which has been pretty much my go-to paint for the last month or two, um, because it's my base color, and I'm. I'm it's my base color for my yellows, so. But um, I really enjoy these these Primaris Marines, and I'm excited. I will have a. My goal is to have a brigade. I want to do a brigade, of Primaris Marines, and I'm pretty close actually, because I have the three. St I have two versions of the original starter set, and one version of the newer starter set the new uh, one with the chaos, right? So those combined, I have like what, five HQ choices, um, two elites, so I need another elite to do a brigade. So I have two elites, um, three fast attacks, three heavies, so I have, you know, plenty of, of um, choices, you know, I already have plenty of, of uh, models for this army, and um, yeah, it's nice, right? It's very nice that I'm I'm actually already well on my way. So that's pretty much the brigade. All I need is another elite choice, and I'm gonna order. I don't, you know me. I've been trying not to order any models for a while. However, there are circumstances where it's justifiable to me. So right now. I'm really working on my Space Marines, right? I'm working on my Space Marines and I've been finishing up all of them. So I'm going to run out of painted spa like Space Marines to paint soon. And I'd like to flesh out my army while I'm focusing on this army, right? So I'm gonna order uh, just a couple models and um, get them all done. So that way, my Ar Space Marine Army, by the time I've finished it, will be all fleshed out. And be, you know, I have some options 
for some battle reports and some tournaments. I will eventually try Imperial Soup or something, just for fun. But uh, right now I'm just painting the golds. Yeah, so it'll be good. I am thinking about picking up that new vehicle. It looks like it's a pretty heavy hitting vehicle. That new uh, Space Marine heavy support vehicle. And uh, it's, it's a pretty, it looks like it has a lot of firepower, which is what's, this is what I've said Primaris Marines need. It really is what Primaris Marines need. So uh, I might pick that up, but it looks expensive. I'm kind of curious how much it's going to be in Canada. Yeah. So yeah, Miniature Painting 101 will be back. I'm going to start getting my videos back in gear. i got to kick my own butt. I've been really busy. Life has kept me busy. And I've been painting a little bit. I haven't been painting as much as I wanted to lately. Just work has been keeping me busy. Stuff around my house has been keeping me busy. Life. Keeping me busy, you know? And that's it. Like, I, um... I really enjoy making videos. I really enjoy painting, as you know, right? And I enjoy doing reviews. I'm, as I said, I wish I had the Primaris paints already. Good. But uh, what can you do? I'll just keep waiting, waiting for them, finishing up these guys. As I said, I'm not using them on these guys. And then next, I'm painting up some, um, I've decided what army I'm painting next. I'll let you guys know today, why not? Um, so after the Space Marines, I'm going to paint some Imperial Knights. I have like three or four, maybe five Imperial Knights to paint. I don't even remember. I don't know how many little guys I have left. But, um, so, I have a bunch of... Imperial Knights. Left to paint. So I've decided that after these guys, I'm going to paint Imperial Knights for a month or two. Um, my goal for this is to finish these this group of Primaris Marines probably by the end of the month, if I have enough time. Um, I have six, I think, one, two... I have six guys left of this batch. And, uh, of course, as you can see, I've finished up the rest of them. You know, decent tabletop standard, I think. Um, so, yeah, as I said, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun time. The shade's basically dry, so let's continue. Um, I will be painting some, as I said, pri um, what am I going to do? Let's take some Scrape Brown on it. But, uh, I'll be painting Imperial Lights after this one. I've decided that. It's probably final. And that's cool. Imperial Knights will be cool. It'll be nice that I can, you know, have Imperial Knight Army. Apocalypse is coming out soon. The new Apocalypse it goes up for pre-order. Uh, I don't know if I'll be getting a copy of it. We'll see. But um, Apocalypse is going for pre-order. Um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to work with, you know, have a bunch of knights to, that I can put in my lists. I'm wanting to do some tournaments. I've actually been kind of craving a tournament, but I'm really busy, you know, um, like my friend Dave invited me to be his partner at a tournament coming up, but I work, um, for my job, I work every third weekend, usually every three or four, sometimes three, sometimes every four. And right now I'm just taking some scrag brown. I'm going to do a quick edge highlight to bring up the leather. Um, and, um, it's always that weekend. It's always that weekend. So I, um, it's always funny. Like, he's like, hey, you want to be my partner in this weekend? I'm like, sure, as long as I'm not working. And then I look, and I'm, of course, I'm working. Just the name of the game. And you can't I can't give up work to uh, go to a tournament. You can't skip work. I know I should, but I don't. I'm not that kind of guy. 
Jay don't play like that. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. Summer's finally here. Tomorrow is the first day of summer. It's awesome. You know, it's starting to warm up finally. It's starting to feel like summer. It's been a really cold, wet spring. And of course, today is the last day of spring. And it's cold and wet. It's, it feels like we're living in Vancouver or something. You know, it really has um, been a cold, wet spring. So, we'll see what kind of summer we have. Hopefully it's a nice summer. Right? Hopefully it's a nice summer. I really hope it's a nice summer. We need it. Plus, Peterborough, in general, uh, is a touristy place. So in the summertime, it really needs a good summertime to um, to bring the, the, the money here, you know, to the tourist industry here thrives. And so that's good. It's good for it. I'm um, going to take some Agrex Earthshade and shade the... Um, purity seal part that I painted earlier and the um, the purity seal and the uh, the golds that I just did right so I'm just clean up my brush here a little more this dude is not gonna take very long I love I've been I was batch painting for most of them and then I just said and this guy I just didn't want to batch paint him so I just been painting him up I've had two of them that I'm using for miniature painting 101s, so I am just painting pieces of them, you know, at a time. That's okay. And so he'll be done soon, and then I will start the other lieutenant. Heck, I might have start the other lieutenant today. I've just base coated him. I think. Have I done anything else to him? Maybe shaded. Mm, yeah, maybe. So, I think I've started the other lieutenant, get him done, and then I have the captain, 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 um, I wonder how many people get that reference, captain, but, um, so I have the captains next, and then after the captain, I have one more, um, ancient, and the three inceptors. Perfect. There we go. Look at that. I'm tired. done that so what will I do now the silvers I guess do all the silvers and then uh, hmm, the eyes the golds and he's pretty much done black area I'm gonna keep this I, I had this extra spray here but it made it look cool so I'm gonna keep that I don't know why I like it so let's do a quick overbrush I just need, what brush was I looking for? Something to paint the silvers. Nope, not that one. So I had a brush that I've been using. There we go. I'm going to take some um, iron breaker. Do a quick like, little mini dry brush slash overbrush of the gun and sword. A couple areas. Bring them to life. All that jazz. So yeah, as I said, I'm just really busy. Life's been good. I'm working a lot around my house. I put up a bird feeder. Um, 
I always wanted a bird feeder. So I put one up. And uh, it's been fun. Getting a lot of birds. Uh, starting a little bit of a turf war for the birds. Um, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of fun to watch. I'm wanting to get, I was trying to get blue jays and cardinals and orioles, which I've got a couple. A couple blue jays, orioles, and cardinals. All the blue jays, all the baseball teams. Um, I get a lot of grackles, which is not the name of a baseball team at all. But uh, yeah, a lot of grackles. And the grackles are smart little buggers, as you know. So uh, they, there's this one grackle who likes to go onto my bird feeder and just, um, he shovels all the food. I call him a shoveler. And, uh, <laughs> and he loves to just shovel all the food out of my bird feeder onto the grass so that his fellow grackles and even the doves eat it. And so because of this, there's a huge population of birds that just chills underneath my bird feeder of uh, doves, uh, grackles, um, I've got a couple pigeons, but not many. Um, what else? The occasional blue jay, the occasional blue jay, the occasional oriole, cardinal, um, some bird, some smaller birds. But it's been cool. As I said, I um, I've been wanting to get the uh, bird feeder. My, as I said, it's just cool to have a little, you know, not a hobby, but uh, just a little population of birds that you just feed. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's been pretty fun. Yeah. I'll paint the eyes, so I'm going to take some uh, blue. Which blue should I start with? Um, Hoth blue. Yeah. Let's do some Hoth blue. GW released a bunch of new paints, actually. And I can't wait to try out a bunch of them. I ordered a couple of the new Air ones. Um, and I do want to try the new technical ones, all the basing ones. I think it'd be kind of fun to just do an entire army based with those. So I might. You know, it'd be cool to do an entire army just uh, with, like, contrast paints and technical paints and get it like blasted out in, in a month and a half or something like 3,000 points in a month and a half I do it you know I don't think it's a waste of an army at all because you get the tabletop I can use it battle reports and it would show how effective ultimately the uh, the paints are now as I said I don't think the paints I based on my some early looks that I've, I've seen I don't think they were for every army I think certain armies, it's going to be better than others. Um, one of the armies I think it'll be really good, orcs. I definitely think orcs would be very good for. Especially, you know, because the orc player is a horde player. Any of the horde armies. Horde armies, like orcs, Tyranids. It'd be probably really cool to create some really cool effects for the Tyranids. Uh, Gene Stealer Cult. I could see Gene Stealer Cult would be a lot of fun for it for 40k because Gene Stealer Cult has a lot of um, like blended odd flesh tones. Um, blended flesh, flesh tones, and they have a lot of cloth. Like, think of the, um, what were they called? Uh, the big elite guys. Um, but even like normal gene stealers. That'd be really fun to do with, with contrast paints. And, um, yeah, I'm creating all the names. That's okay. Um, Oh, whatever. They guys the big hammers. Right? A lot of cloth, a lot of flesh tones. Um, it'll hit me eventually. 
All right, so let's add a little white, lighten it up, and repaint the eyes. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take a little bit of white and paint these, uh, build these eyes up. Um, Uh, yeah, the Chinese are called a cool looking army. That'll be cool with this. And, and obviously there's fantasy armies as well that would really excel with this. I just, um, there's definitely certain armies that I'm like, wow, this would really be cool with this, this model, you know? And other armies I'm like, yeah, like it will be awesome for vanilla Marines. It'll work. It'll work. Um, armor, people are a little skeptical about the armor. But um, I think it'll work for Space Marines. As I said, Space Marines, especially Primaris Marines, have the nice contours, the nice lines. Um, it's a very simple army. So uh, if you want to make it simple, you can make Space Marines or any army as complicated of a painting job as you want, right? But um, it's up to you. But with Space Marines, you could knock out a bunch of Space Marines in a short period of time. could uh, and like the colors are very you know easy for space marines they have a space wolves gray a yellow for imperial fists good uh, a yellow for imperial fists you know um, they have uh, dark angels green they have Blood Angels Red, right? So you literally could just paint by numbers a bunch of Space Marines. You know, if you're using just contrast paints and technical paints, I bet you could knock out an army in, a, you know, weeks. With... Very minimal effort. So, that'd be good. Just putting the little white dot at the corners of the eyes. This isn't stuff that I'm usually painting with Jay in, but that's okay. Um, yeah. There we go. I think it looks pretty good. So let's focus on the golds. Oh, and then, yeah. Um, yeah, you could. Totally could. You know, with very... Uh, if you were a new painter... I don't, I don't know. That's the, I don't think these are for new painters. I think they're for more experienced painters. But the funniest part is it's for like people who know how to paint, who don't want to paint. Which there are a lot of people in that field, like in that grouping, right? Um, but it's kind of funny. Like I think, I really do feel that the paints uh, involve some techniques that you need to know. You know, you got to prevent pooling. Makes sense. But... Um, I think a person, if they wanted to, could could knock out a whole army of Space Marines in weeks, you know? Probably do a squad a day easily with, as I said, minimal effort. Prime, white or, or the gray or the warm color, depending on what you're painting. Um, and then just simply, you know, hit them with the, the, the colors for contrast. Take your time, do a good job. Uh, and then... You know, paint them quickly. Eyes. You could even use metallics. You don't even have to use the, the gray. You could actually paint the, you know, add lead belcher to your repertoire. And get a bunch of Space Marines done really quickly. Oh, the words I was thinking of were the Aberrants and the Abominant, by the way. That's what the Aberrants and the Abominant. That'd be good for contrast paints 
knew it would come to me eventually. There we go. Gold. Done. This guy's turning up pretty well. I think I'll be done him in, before this end of this video, for sure. Which is good. I like that. Cool. And I'll just uh, tidy him up a little bit, clean up a couple of colors, and then he'll be done. So I'll take my final color of his paint job, other than the cleanup colors. Um, and uh, he'll be done before this video, and then I'll start working. We're only half an hour in, so I'll, I'll start working on the other Primaris Lieutenant then. Might as well. I'm really excited to have these primary screens done, to be honest. It's going to be cool to just go to another thing to paint, but um, I'm. it'd be nice to have another army done. You know? I'm, uh, I'm excited to have these guys done. As I said, it's going to be nice. I have all my primary screens done, and then I can turn my attention to um, Imperial Knights. Which I think, as I said, I think that's going to be my next army that I paint. Because it'd be nice to get a bunch of the big guys done. Um, for Apocalypse, of course, in, in conjunction with the release of Apocalypse, GW's about to release a bunch of new box sets that are temporarily limited edition, so they're going to sell out, you know, stupidly fast. Um, you know, the usual. There we go. He's done, basically. So I'm just going to add a couple cleanup areas, and um, he's good. Half an hour in, and the model is complete. So I'll work on his base a little bit later. I don't really want to work on the bases right now. So I'll yeah, do the couple bases for him. The other guys that I'm working on, they're all painted. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, and so there's a bunch of apocalypse formations uh, for different armies coming out. Um, some of them are good. I think some of them will be bought up pretty quickly. They're good. I wouldn't say they're good for like pure, people who want to play Apocalypse. I think it's people who want to flesh out their armies. You know, just for a normal army, they're they're a very good price. Um, I think they're about going to be 175 US. So I gotta relate. I don't. I gotta look at the prices and see how it compares to if you buy all the things. There's a couple of ones that I see more popular than the others. Frankly, uh, the Imperial Knights one is going to sell out pretty quickly. I still think the uh, Castellan is a solid choice, and people still love the Castellan, so if you don't have a Castellan yet, it comes with a Castellan and two of the Armagers, or uh, whatever they're called, the little guys with the, um, with the autocannons. So, the little dudes with the autocannons. So two of those and a Castellan. So that's a good deal. People are going to buy it. Um, the, the, um, I think the Imperial Guard one, the Astronaut Terran one's a good price. It, um, it has a bunch of tanks, right? Um, the Space Marine one, I don't actually see being extremely popular, unless you want to buy a whole lot of Primaris Marines, which is cool if you want to, but most people already have a bunch. You know, they've been really easy to come by since they're the start, they're, like, every starter box, every box set has Space Marines in it of some faction, right? So... And I think the box, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, people, but I'm pretty sure the Space Marine one has a captain, which, once again, you have captains in every box set. Um, and, like, 30 Primaris Marines. But if you've seen the rules already for the newest um, Apocalypse Edition, because they've been showing some of the rules, Primaris Marines die. They're like orcs, right? The whole point of the new um, edition is that it's supposed to be a much quicker game and by being it sort of make it a much quicker game things die faster right you got to be able to put stuff on the table and remove it just as quickly in this new apocalypse game and uh for it to go for like again the whole point is to go for like a game for that has like three hours right 
So if that's the case, things die. And Primaris Marines are like orcs. They have like six up saves. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. And um, yeah. So I wouldn't really want to go out and buy another 30 of them unless I was playing a horde in um, Primaris Marine list that I would be playing in like a tournament, right? I wouldn't be playing like an Apocalypse game. Cool, but I whole point of Apocalypse is big bads, right? Um, the Orc one, I really like for new Orc players. That's going to be a good deal. Um, the new Orc one is cool. You get a uh, shock attack gun Big Mac, which is the best HQ, I think, in the in um, the Codex. You get two Death Dreads, and you get six Killicans. So I love those. That's a great... That's For me, that's what I love to run in normal games. So that's awesome. I'm really happy. You know, that's an awesome choice for me. Um, I'm not buying it, though, because I already have... Um, I already have plenty of those models. Right? If someone wants to buy it for me, feel free out there. But I'm not. I'm just kidding. But... Um, I don't think I'll be buying that one. The Imperial Knight one to me is, is the really the sweet spot. The Elder one was good too, I think. The Chaos one I thought was decent. But um, they're not all equal. There we go. So I'll put him aside, do a couple shades of, um, of glazing on him. A couple of rounds of glazing to clean up those spots in a few minutes. But um, set him aside for now. He's done. Another model done. Look at that. So let's start on the other guy. Not as not as close to being done. So I've shaded him. No, nope, I've like partially shaded him. What was I doing? I guess I got started and just didn't finish. Okay. Well, he's pretty shaded. Okay, I'll just uh, take a little more nail oil. Clean and finish. Must have just missed a spot. Like Adam. There. Good. So what else is done new? Uh, hockey season and basketball season are done. Which is time to focus on baseball. I know a lot of you aren't really into the sports, but still. Uh, into those sports, but it's okay. And um, I'm just going to clean up some of the uh, Shafty Bone ones again. And then um, highlight up some colors. But um, so for, foot, uh, sorry, for hockey, the winner was the St. Louis Blues of the Stanley Cup, which I really liked. I was actually cheering for them in the finals because... Um, they've never won the Stanley Cup before. They've been in the Stanley Cup Finals a few times and never won a game in the Stanley Cup Finals. They were, it's a team pretty much filled with Canadians, so that's always awesome. Like their rookie goalie is only from about an hour away from where I live right now. Or hour and ten minutes, probably. Um, and so that's cool. Um, and yeah, they see Gloria, and it's kind of fun. Also, I'm not a fan of the Boston Bruins. I'm sorry to all my Boston Bruin fans out there. No. They beat the Leafs, and they beat up the other teams. They really got away with... I, I feel that I don't like playoff hockey the way that the refs allow a lot of really, really dirty hits. And they're like, playoff hockey. It's exciting. Yeah, but you, you broke the other player. You know, like, that's not fair. But, um, yeah, I'll start that topic on a different note, a uh, different time. But, um, what was I saying? So I'm glad that the Blues won. Obviously, I'd prefer the Leafs, but uh, Blues, go Blues. Um, and then on the, on foot, on the, sorry, basketball side, the Toronto Raptors, so my local team. Again, Tor Canada only has one team, but um, obviously I'm about an hour away from Toronto. And I... I'm stupidly happy that they won. I can't believe that they won basketball. I thought they could this year, though. I did think they could. Um, but um, it's crazy. 
a Canadian team won the NBA Finals. We never even been in the NBA Finals before this year, and we won it. We beat the um, the Golden State Warriors in six. We really should have beaten them in five. Uh, we were robbed in the the end of the fifth game. So, but um, yeah, it wasn't even close. wasn't close. I like the Golden State Warriors should have beaten us, I think, but maybe not. They were injured. I don't honestly feel that there should be an asterisk. People keep saying the word asterisk. There should be an asterisk beside the team. Um, when people forget that the Golden State Warriors who've won four of the last five years, three of the last four years, sorry, um, frequently they go up against teams where their best player or second best player or sometimes both their best players would be injured. And no one would bat an eye because they'd be like, oh, it's the Golden State Warriors. Of course. It doesn't matter. They're going to win anyway. But um, our best, the, the Raptors' best player, his name's Kawhi Leonard. He used to play for the Spurs. But he got injured when playing for the Spurs. And for two straight years, um, the Spurs got eliminated by the Golden State Warriors with Kawhi injured. Right? And Kawhi was also the best player on that team. So... Say all you want. I, I think they deserve it. They had their parade the other day. It did not go well. Like, twice the number of people showed up than they thought they would, and it was tons of crowds, but I think people had fun. There was a shooting, unfortunately, but no one got killed. I think a couple people got minorly injured. But, uh, yeah, congrats to the Raptors, congrats to the Blues. So now it's baseball season, and the Jays are already done. Just stick a fork in them, they're done. It's not even the All-Star game, and um, they're done. Like, it's June. The Jays are like 20 games back. It's a, They're a laughing stock, frankly. So, we're in a rebuild. Yay. Yeah, so we're in a rebuild. And it's just going to be years of suckage. We have some good young players, but it'll take them a while to apparently compete. That's okay. There we go. So he's done there. I'm going to take some uh, Screaming Skull. Highlight up more. Um, yeah, Jays, Jays suck. And the problem is we're in a division with the Yankees, the Red Sox. And the Yankees and the Red Sox have thrown so much money at so many players. It's disgusting how the difference in salaries can be between the teams um, and Tampa Bay Rays who are actually holding on they're currently like battling for first place with the Yankees and they're not a very expensive team but they're just a good team so that's cool it's just kind of funny that um, like three years ago we got rid of our or two years ago we got rid of our designated hitter the, the Jays didn't sign him again because there was like some weird negotiations with the contracts. Uh, his name, you know, um, Incarnacion, Edwin Incarnacion, and everyone loved him. He was like a fan favorite, and he signed with the um, the Cleveland Indians. And then we got Kendris Morales, who really didn't play amazingly. He hit the ball occasionally. And Kendris Morales was our next designated hitter. And then we got rid of Kendris Morales earlier this season. We traded him to the Oakland Athletics for pretty much nothing, uh, agreeing to pay the majority of his contract so that they would take him, right? So the Jays are still paying his contract this year, despite the fact he's not playing for the Jays. That's the case for about four other players as well that are paid a lot. The Jays are paying pe these like five players. The Jays are paying them more money this year to not play for the Jays, then we're paying the rest of our team, literally, to play for the Jays. Does that make sense to you guys and girls? I don't think so. It doesn't make much sense to me. So we're paying teams to just take them off our hands, but we're still paying their salaries. So Russell Martin, Edmund Carnacion, Troy Tulowitzki, um, who is also on the Yankees right now. And uh, we're... We're paying all their salaries. We're paying all of them. So that, that's great. And uh, and so then we got rid of 
Ed, Edwin Encarnacion, who then, uh, then we got Kendris Morales, we got rid of Kendris Morales. Kendris Morales, we gave, uh, we gave to Oakland Athletics, and then they gave him to the Yankees. So now Kendris Morales, former Jay. Also, they have our best pitcher from last year, Jay Happ. Which we traded them for basically nothing. So, they have our best pitcher from last year. They have our, be they have our, our, um, okay designated hitter from last year. And then, the Yankees just traded for <laughs> Edwin Encarnacion. So the Yankees now have both our, our, both of our previous, um, designated hitters. They're kind of grabbing everyone. And it's been hilarious. And they're, they're really, they're, they have a, they're in like second place in the division, but they're basically tied for first. They're almost at first to the point where it doesn't matter right now. It's too close. And uh, Boston is, is in third, but Boston's still keep playing pretty well. So, yeah, so the Yankees have a lot of players, but uh, and the Jays, a bunch of young guys. And some terrible pitching. The hitting isn't terrible for most games. Like some games we can we can hit in like five or six runs, but the pitching, oh my goodness. The Jays have a guy named Edwin Jackson right now, who I can't I, I can't understand why he's still on the team. Um the other day, they've decided that Edwin Jackson can't start his own games because they don't want him facing the top three batters in the lineup. They want him facing numbers four, five, and six to start the game. So they do what's called the opener. The opener is a strategy really made popular last year by Tampa Bay, where they put a reliever in for the first inning, like a pre-reliever. He pitches against the three uh, best hitters, or the four best hitters, and then the starter takes over. And that way the starter doesn't have to face the, the openers as much, the, the starting batters. And so they did that on the other day with Edwin Jackson. So he, he took over in the second inning, and he could only get two outs. And in the time it took him to get two outs, before they pulled him, he allowed seven runs. That's more runs than most MLB games finish at. And he allowed him in an inning, starting against the weaker batters. And, uh, yeah, people were kind of outraged. I was outraged. I was like, dudes, you got to cut him loose. He can't pitch. There we go. So he's coming along. I'll wait a sec, do a quick edge highlight with uh, white, and then probably start the glazing on him. Good. Yeah. So, Jays suck. That's okay. Actually, we're about to end the time. You know what? I might just end now. We've been about 45 minutes, 48 minutes. Um, <laughs> not bad. He's looking pretty good. All right, you know what? I'm going to end now. That way I can just uh, have this video edited and up today. So let's end now. All right, so that concludes another episode of Painting with Jay. I hope you're getting stuff done and you're ridding your world of unpainted models. What do you think of the new contrast paints? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. What do you think? As I said, I haven't been able to touch them yet. Um, how are your summers looking? Are you going to have a lot of fun? How, are you, how have your springs been? You know, as always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. It's because of them that I can keep making these videos. And as you can see, their names go by my head. Um, please go check out my Patreon campaign if you want to help support my videos. And stay tuned for more Paintings with Jay. It's nice to Jay saying, happy painting.